Welcome to 66 Abbott's Gardens in the time of Covid. The garden has a strong asymmetrical design with deep 90 degree angled beds down the left side offset by a large piano curve on the right. I've divided the garden with a yew hedge two thirds of the way down with the focal point being the white barked birches beyond. Planting is a mixture of grasses, shrubs and perennials with a predominantly yellow and purple colour palette designed to create all year interest. The arching leaves of the Hakona clear grass have been used to lead the eye through the centre of the garden. Amongst our favourite trees is the Acer over the water feature with its dramatic change of colour as autumn approaches and the paper bark maple, Asa grisium. Through the wrought iron arch covered in the cream coloured Malvern Hills rose, I have tried to create a very different space. The striking white bark of the Betula Jack Montii with the underplanting of black grass and the discreet vegetable plot. I finally managed to grow Persicaria on the mound of old tree roots in the corner of the garden and planted the copper beech hedge on the boundary. I have used the shaded area by the side of the shed for ferns and grasses and created a slate pebble fountain and seating area in front of the shed covered in Virginia creeper. An integral part of the garden are the glass urns and amphorae inspired by terracotta pots in Italian gardens, together with feathers and leaves that I created. They are made from clear float glass inlaid with metal powders and fused in a kiln. No two are ever the same. Suspended on steel crooks, they can be moved around the garden according to the season. The fish mosaic was conceived as a backdrop to the water feature. Later, a Roman fish mosaic was created for the base of the fish pond. Thanks for allowing us to share our garden. We look forward to seeing many of you next year.